the way you're able to get the gallery assistant well as of right now it's overseas i believe it's in korea if you're part of the samsung one ui 8 beta program you can actually sign up for this through the samsung members application or you can just simply just go right over into the link that I'll place below this video inside the description. It'll take you over to APK Mirror. These are all of the Samsung applications that have been updated recently. And then I noticed this brand new one, which was called Gallery Assistant. I downloaded it, played with it, and here is the video. So this one was just launched yesterday, the Gallery Assistant. And again, it allows you to do everything in bulk. Now let's take a look at this. So I have a video or actually several videos that are right up over here all of these ones are in the more compatible H.264 file format of a video, but you can switch this one over into the HEVC so this way it can save a little bit of space. Or I can just keep the video size all the way up there, but then I can just change the codec over into the HEVC, which again would save space. So if you remember, I just showed you it was the H.264, which is the one that I usually like to use. So for the sake of this video here, what we'll do is we can just bring down the size. I'm gonna take it down pretty much to the half of the size. So now it's at only one gig. We're gonna save space, put it in that little codec right there and then hit on save. And then what we can do is we can go right back over into the gallery. We could take a look and then we'd be able to see that this one has changed from that H.264 to the HEVC. So let's just wait for this to be done because also once this is done, it'll let you know how much space you have saved. So now that this one is done, you can see that seven videos have been saved. We reduced the size from 2.05 gig down to 0.98. And then you can view all these ones or you can just hit on OK. Now going back inside of the gallery, if we want to take a look at these videos here, you can see that these are now in that HEVC. So the ones that we took a look at also down here that we you know, saw the H.264. So again, this is where you're able to change all of these ones uh, in bulk 